How to use INVTHMI to control GD20EU. First of all, we need to complete the connection between HMI and VFD. Generally we use Modbus communication to transfer data. After the connection is completed, the HMI can be used to control the VFD. Here is a demonstration of using the HMI's word switches to control VFD start or stop. Based on the VFD instruction manual, 2000 hexadecimal is the communication control command of the VFD. Enter the 2000 hexadecimal communication address of the VFD into the address field of the word switch. Set the value corresponding to the control effect and label the name of the button, where 1 means forward running and 5 means stop. For further addresses and their meanings refer to 7.4.2 description of other function addresses in Modbus. Now change P00.01 to 2. The VFD is controlled by the communication run command. When we press the word switch representing start, we will find that the VFD starts. The running frequency rises continuously to the set frequency, and the status indicator shows that the VFD is running in positive rotation. When we press the word switch representing stop, we find that the running frequency decreases until it reaches zero, and the status indicator shows that the VFD is in the process of stopping. INVT. INVT.